And now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a former orthopedic surgeon who's gone to the dogs. I'm sorry I'm late, Dr. Bob. I was operating in the other room. I know, it's the talk of the hospital. <laughs> booga, booga. Now cut that out. Let me have the ear thing. Ear thing, Dr. Bob. Oh, oh feels good. Stick. Stick, Dr. Bob. Fetch. <laughs> What's that all about? That's my laboratory retriever. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what do you think, Dr. Bob? I think it's man is sick. You ought to see a doctor. But, Dr. Bob, you are a doctor. That's your opinion. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, you can't leave, Fuzzy. Dr. Bob is the only one who can save you now. Mm. She's right. I saved over 500 last year. What, patients? No, dollars. <laughs> Of course, I also lost over 100 pounds. Well, in weight? No, in England. <laughs> Dr. Bob, you should be ashamed of yourself. You call yourself a doctor, Dr. Bob? I'd never call myself a doctor. They don't come when you call them anyway. <laughs> Tune in next week when we'll hear Nurse Piggy say... Dr. Bob, you've lost all your patience. I can't help it. I got a short temper. About this talk. <laughs> Can I go now? And now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a former orthopedic surgeon who's gone to the dogs. Mm, this is D for dog, B for Bob, saying turn off the joy juice. Mm? Yeah, ten Roger. Okay, now, where were we? Uh, pulse. Oh, <gasps> no pulse, Dr. Bob. Heartbeat. No heartbeat, Dr. Bob. No pulse, no heartbeat, no use. He's gone. Oh, four hours operating, and he went just like that. Yes, doesn't the time go fast when you're having fun? <laughs> Too bad, Dr. Bob. Your record was so good, you saved nine out of ten. My record is still good. This week, he was number ten. <laughs> so Dr. Bob's record is still good. It's now ten on the medical hit parade. With a bullet. Tune in next week when we'll hear Nurse Piggy say... Oh, I hope no one hears about this, Dr. Bob. Well, at least he won't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Veterinarian's Hospital. The continuing story of a former orthopedic surgeon who's gone to the dogs. <laughs> Anesthetic. Anesthetic, Dr. Bob. Uh, is this operation really necessary? <laughs> Scalpel. No, suture. 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 There. Suture. Scalpel. Scalpel, Dr. Bob. Ah! <laughs> How long have you been a nurse? Well, uh, what time is it? <laughs> Dr. Bob, your hand is shaking. What's the trouble? That's my nerves. I'm overworked and underpaid. This is my tenth operation today. The hours are interminable. <laughs> yes, but we must get on with this operation. This man has a bad case of hiccups. Mm. It must be gas. <gasps> oh, he's in bad shape. He's in bad shape? What about me? Doesn't anybody ever think about me? <laughs> Uh, we're losing time, Dr. Bob. So, I'm losing my mind. Day in and day out, it's the same old routine. Uh, oh, but Dr. Bob... I'm up to my ears in debt. My wife is leaving me. I'm being sued for malpractice. And all you can say is, but Dr. Bob. Uh, but Dr. Bob... Oh, I tell you, I tell you, I'm so on edge, I'm about to explode. <laughs> so Dr. Bob is going to pieces, and so is his patient. Tune in next week when we'll hear the nurse say... Dr. Bob, you've got to pull yourself together. I'll try. Not you, him. I better quit while I'm ahead. And now, Veterinarian's Hospital. The continuing story of an orthopedic surgeon who's gone to the dogs. Well, Dr. Bob, here's your next patient. Oh. <laughs> Well, what have we here? Another sick chicken? I'm not a chicken, I'm a duck. Shall we prepare for surgery on the chicken? Duck! Oh! Ah! <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Somebody yelled duck. Well, let's get back to the chicken. Duck! Oh! <laughs> I don't understand what's going on around here. Duck! Oh! 
Oh, no, I'm not going to fall for another one of the... So Dr. Bomb has received a serious blow. Tune in next week when you will hear Dr. Bob say to his patient, Well, what kind of doctor do you think I am? Quack. I should know better than to ask a chicken. Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a former orthopedic surgeon who's gone to the dogs. <laughs> well, what do you think, Dr. Bob? This is your first transplant. Well, there's always a second chance. But uh, what if he doesn't make it, Dr. Bob? I don't mean him, I mean me. Oh, let me check into something. Uh, uh, the old ticker still sounds great. Oh, you mean his new heart is fine? No, I mean my new watch. I dropped it in when I was sewing him up. <laughs> so Dr. Bob dropped his watch on the patient's chest. Tune in next week when we'll hear Dr. Bob say... Well, let's look on the bright side. At least if he doesn't make it, we'll know the exact time he went. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. Right, Stadler? Good grief. Did he jump? Time now for Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of an orthopedic surgeon who's gone to the dogs. All right, now what's the next case? Uh, he's right here, Dr. Bob. Of course. What's this man here for? A stomachache, Dr. Bob. Stomachache, check. Mm. Oh! <laughs> there now, that should ache for some time. <laughs> uh, he's also here for a sore throat. Easy. Wait! I've got a sore throat. I want it to go away. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Open up your mouth. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, ho! I see the problem immediately. What, what is, is it, Dr. Bob? Bob? This man has a frog in his throat. Are you certain? Positive. Very funny. Just see if this dumb doctor sketch ever gets on the show again. <laughs> And so Dr. Bob has found a patient with a case of ingrown TV show host. Tune in next week when you'll hear Dr. Bob say... Oh, let's clean up around here. This operating room is a mess. That's nothing. You should see it in here. And now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of an orthopedic surgeon who's gone to the dogs. Nope, I can't. I just cannot perform this operation. But why not, Dr. Bob? Well, frankly, I'm chicken. No, that is a chicken. You're right. Uh, besides, this should be right up your alley. That's true. I am a bird dog. <laughs> Are you really? Sure. Every year I fly south for the winter. <laughs> Don't, Don't your arms get, get tired? <laughs> well, now will be a moment of silence. Why? Well, that joke that just died in the operating room. <laughs> Seriously, Doctor, what about your patient? Well, we have a choice. We can do a chicken appendectomy, a chicken tonsillectomy, or a chicken curry fricassee. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Hey, we gotta do something about this turkey. It's a chicken. I'm a chicken. The sketch is a turkey. So Dr. Bob has run afoul of a fowl. Tune in next week when you'll hear Nurse Piggy say... Many of Dr. Bob's patients are chickens. Why is that? Because he's for the birds! And now, Veterinarian's <gasps> Hospital, the continuing story of a former orthopedic surgeon who's gone to the dogs. Hudson Ralston on the real raw with the brawl, a brawl, a suet. Dr. Bob, you can't sing at a time like this. I'm not singing at a time like this. I'm singing Hudson Ralston. <laughs> Only but goody. Uh, how'd I ever get myself into this sketch? Take it easy, George. Uh. Dr. Bob, the patient is sinking. Well, I wonder what he is sinking about. Uh. Come on, laugh it up, nurse. These are the jokes. The only joke around here is you, Dr. Bob. This patient needs your assistance. 
Well, you're my assistants, but what he's gonna do with the two of you, I'll never know. <laughs> oh, look, either give me some help or let me out of here. Well, what seems to be your trouble? I keep breaking out in a cold sweat. Oh, well, I see. You have a clear case of pen transit phobia. Huh? That's a dread fear of traveling through the state of Pennsylvania. Oh. <laughs> Jokes, Dr. Bob. You've dedicated yourself to saving lives. You're right. I saved six lives this week. By operating? No, by not operating. <laughs> Dr. Bob, you've given this hospital a bad name. You're right. Fred is a terrible name for a hospital. <laughs> I'll have to give it a better name. How about Eunice? <laughs> this is impossible. Do you have a license? Of course. Every dog has a license. <laughs> the leash laws are really rough. <laughs> you dummy. I mean, do you have a license to practice? Yes, and I'm going to practice on you oh. right now. Bongos. Bongos, Dr. Bob. Bongos? <laughs> and so Dr. Bob is about to begin his bongo practice. Tune in next week when we'll hear Nurse Piggy say, <gasps> Dr. Bob, it's too late. You've lost him. Well, he couldn't have gone far. He was under the sheet just a second ago. Oh. <laughs> And now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of an orthopedic surgeon who has gone to the dogs. Dr. Bob! Dr. Bob! Your next patient is ready. Yes, yes. Oh, I was just tending to an emergency. A musician at the symphony just fell through his harp. Oh, where is he now? In rooms 9, 10, 11, and 12. <laughs> Okay, where's the next patient? Uh, he's right here, Dr. Bob. Oh, mm, little fellow, isn't he? Oh, this is no patient, it's a loaf of bread. And a very sick one. Good grief, it's talking bread. Dr. Bob, what do you make of it? What else? Toast. <laughs> and so Dr. Bob has discovered edible patients. Oh. Tune in next week when you will hear Nurse Janice say... Uh, Dr. Bob, should I prepare the anesthetic? No, just stand by with the marmalade. 